Yes, you just got like three seconds of silence. That's that's to represent how stupid our fucking community is. So, <sighs> we need to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Network and how... I don't even want to say like 50%, but I think it's more fell for the biggest scam of 2016 for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And it was it was orchestrated beautifully because it was fed so well off of the community's need and want for something that we even even I, you even though a lot of people didn't see me talk about it publicly, a uh, few people uh, heard me be optimistic and hopeful for the system. So I'm sure there will be better videos out there, um, more videos chronologically constructed better than this, but I wanted to talk about this from the way that i seen things. So first off, Yu-Gi-Oh! Network was supposed to be, out. it came out of the blue. Um, our community was so so hopeful for this um, and when someone that has as well of ties I'm not going to mention the person's name here uh, for reasons but when someone as well off as this comes and says that they're going to do something you know as creating a dueling network a lot of the community becomes ecstatic about these things um, because someone with the right sources with the right knowledge of the game you know it's easy to become blinded by hope. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Network was supposed to be this created dueling network. Um, keep in mind, throughout the entire scenario, we had no physical proof of how the system would work. We had no pictures for how it would work. Nothing. All right? Our community lived on a dream. So, basically... A site was launched, I think it was YGONetwork.com, a Facebook page was both created, and it said, enter your email if, of course, you want updates, and to be contacted when updates happen. Now, pretty much amongst all of the people in the community, I think there were like 1,400 to 1,200 followers on the Facebook page, and I God knows only how many emails he got. I mean, thank God I used one of my lesser ones, but, you know, sometimes... Sometimes phishing schemes happen and emails get sold for money. But as time went on, um, in order to keep juicing the the concept even more, posts were made talking about, oh, I'm talking to the rights holders, you know, uh, the system's going to be delayed. And our community was extremely happy. They're like, oh my god, this guy knows what he's doing. Now, keep in mind before this all went this next step, you have the organization post saying that, of course, you know, this is fake, you know, don't listen to this, um, because the organization is pretty well rooted in terms of being aware of what's going on in the simulator world. And a lot of our community chose to disregard the organization's little heed and warning. I'm not quite sure if it was the fact that the organization said this is bullshit or the literal next step in the whole evolution of things was I'm in talks with the rights holders because as beautifully executed as that is he literally fed off of the community put a blocking stone in the way of the organization and literally continued to feed on the online community now I'm not going to lie I had hopes somewhere somewhere deep down in the whole crevice of the community I was hopeful that this would happen but somewhere along the way I was skeptical because we had no real knowledge of what was going to happen um, I had a few ideas of what was coming um, man fucking those little seeds of deception being planted fucking all the anime references in the world enjoy your your little Dark Seeds reference from Digimon, guys. But, the Seeds seeds were very planned out. It was very well executed. And, I, I have to clap for this. Because, not only did he pull the wool over all of our eyes, but, 
it was it was very well planned and I know a lot of people in our community um I saw something on Zodiac um, about it being a um, malware site uh, Russian tracking of numbers whatever the fuck it was and I like as soon as that started happening you know like deep in your mind when you have no no pictures of what's going on you have people going into the source code of these pages uh, and things like that you, you just you're kind of like you what are you doing over there now I'm not an expert in website it's, um, actually I'm quite stupid retarded lesser knowledge however you want to phrase things um, when it comes to website creation I mean I took a fucking class in school which was like <sighs> oh man I graduated when I was 19 I'm 27 now so nine years nine fucking actually I think I took it in like 10th grade so like 11 years ago I took a, a site class on HTML and I, I couldn't tell you if it was a Russian fucking scam or anything like so we've reached the point to where we are today the Facebook page for YGO Network is gone uh, it seems that said person has burrowed his way out of our community and all of said emails are being used to populate apps um, and said person is making a hefty fucking dollar I don't know what his price point on selling emails is but I mean it worked out so once again kudos to the man if you if you guys went through this entire video without understanding what Yu-Gi-Oh! Network was the TLDR literally was someone said hey I'm going to make a dueling network better than dueling network and a lot of people fell for it now to be honest nothing of real great value was lost other than our our need and hunger for a DM is still there um, I think I think this really made things apparent to a lot of the community <sighs> just how much we want a simulator that's not automated and I'm not going to lie having played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro a lot of Dev Pro our community was I'm not gonna say very spoiled but they had a nice thing for a very long time um, much before the YVD days but you know things go on in our community uh, I mean it just it just made it apparent to how easy uh, our need for this isn't going to be clenched because we had something so great and it's not like the source code for DN isn't out there I, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys it exists no I don't fucking have it um, I have a pretty good idea where you can find it, but that's not even going to be talked about. If another DN would be created, the people that make it are probably going to be the enemies of the community. And not on the aspect that you think, but painting a target on your back from someone higher up than Konami. Uh, I believe it's NAS, uh, NAS, um, owns the card rights. Um, you know, in the past I've talked about, you know, how not all of the images, I believe, are not copyrighted. I mean, I'm pretty sure they are, but it never became severely apparent until the whole DN thing happened. So, much of the simulators for downloading have gotten past um, that. I mean, we're not in a golden age by any stretch of the imagination, but if, if it is to happen... Um, it's might either be secluded you know people are going to be very angry at the results and no matter how our community takes another DN um, I don't think it's ever going to be as good as the original but uh, that's the point of all things you know you never really realize what you have until it's gone you know much much the case of life and whatnot so uh, but Orange Robbie wanted to be here to 
Talk about how fucking stupid I was for having my hopes so high up, not having anything. And I hope you guys... There will be other videos other YouTubers are going to do on this subject. A, they will come out. Um, I know Nataroni Macaroni um, is going to do one at some point, but... You guys can look forward to that. And if you guys don't see Ned here do it, just spam the crap out of him until he does it. Because he'll do it probably better than I am. But yeah, guys, comment down below. Tell me tell me about our community's hunger. It's, it's disgusting how needy we are as a group of people. And it, it really sucks that a company that knows what we want ha has known even before the days of DN just won't do it and it's it's so shameful to say that but it's just how things work guys all right guys i'm out i hope you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up this video to show your support and please check out van cole 40 for card fight vanguard m cole games for miscellaneous trading card games and no limit gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh videos thanks for watching